let's begin by creating a new project which we are going to add the libraries to it so create a new and studio project new project select empty activity give your project a name we can say little fit users then click finish give your project a few seconds so that you can finish loading the uh, gradual dependencies once that is done we proceed to add our libraries we are going to add our libraries within the gradle script folder there is a file named as build gradle it's here and we are going to add it inside the dependencies block so let's uh, begin adding our libraries we are going to add three main libraries that is Letrofit, json converter and http logger interceptor so let's begin by adding Letrofit. go to your browser and type square.github.io slash letrofit you'll get some information about the retrofit library that is introduction api declaration which contains request methods ull manipulation request boarding form ull and uh, form encoded at multiparts header manipulation and for LAS, what we need is retrofit configuration so go to the gradle part copy this one and paste it in your project remove insert latest version and go back scroll uh, uh, to the top and then click a variable on github so that we can get the latest version so at the time of making the video 290 is the latest version so i'm going to insert 290 then i'm going to go for json scroll up and then copy the json add it within the dependencies implement json and then the latest version for this one let click it and open the github part and you'll get 289 two eight nine so we have even uh, 290 and finally we need uh, our final library that is HTTP logger interceptor so HTTP logger interceptor and then uh, include this one in your gradle and then sync your project so that's all you need uh, to know when you want to add the libraries the next thing that you are going to do is to create the models api services and api client we use model to hold data that we want either to send to the server or the data that you are getting from the server uh, as you saw earlier within our login screen we pass the username and the password and then we get user details upon successful authentication when we are trying to register a user we pass username email and password and then we get response that contain id and other user data so to create our model i'm going to begin by creating a new package and i'm going to call it model within the model i'm going to create two packages the first one i'm going to call it request 
then I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to call it Lespons. Within the request, I'm doing um, authentication request. So I have out request. And then I'm also doing registration request. Register request. Remember the reason I'm doing out or we can just call it Let's uh, refactor this one and rename it to login request. And then I'll have a response. I'll have login response. And I will have register response. So within my login request, remember the data that you are posting to the server when the user wants to log in is val username of type string and val password which is of type string. The data that we get from the server is so uh, let's look at how our api looks like this is the api we have authentication this is where we log in user and uh, pass the details for login as you can see it's slash authentication then we have images we are not going to learn this one but we are going to consume users so for users, we can see what we are required to post. It's here, username, first name, last name, email, is active, date, joined, password. But for this case, we are only going to pass username, email, and password. Then we are going to get our response. So the response that we expect once the user is logged in will be val user id which will be an int val username which is of type string and val email which is of type string remember uh, if you don't know exactly the type of data that you are going to expect back with the help of this library you can log your response and then you can get the data that the server is returning we are going to learn this in our series uh, of this uh, class so for now what we expect once the user is logged in is the id username and email then we have a registration request so i'm going to convert this one to a data class and for last to register a user we require to pass val username remember this is of type string we also require to pass val email which is of type string and we also need to pass val password which should be type string most of the time the person developing this api will tell you the data that is expected to be passed and the response but if you can also check when you are posting a user the type of data you expect to pass in our case we are going to ignore the first name the last name is active and pass the four of this one so let me add date joined val date joined of type string and then we are going to expect a response and the response that we are going to expect so i'm going to have data here convert it to a data class it will be val id of type int val username which will be a string and then we're going to have val email of type string 
So we are going also to get other data, but our main concern, we want to get the ID, the username, and the email. So that's all we need in our model. So we need the requests and the response. We have declared the login request and the login response, register request, and the register response. Now let's create our API service. An API service defines all the endpoints that you want uh, to consume data from. In our case, we only need two endpoints, that is users, as you can see. We need to post users, and we also need to authenticate, which is a post request. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a package here, and I'm going to say service, and then within it, I'm going to create a class, and I'm going to say API service. This one is an interface, should be an interface, and within it, I'm going to have at post and then I'm posting to authentication and what I'm posting is fun login user and that endpoints requires data and the data that is required we are going to pass it in our request that is login request and what you are going to get is a callback so we have a call for letter of it and it will contain our login response so I'm also going to do at post and then I'm going to have users, as you can see here, we have done for this one authentication and we also need users. And what I'm going to have is fun register user. And then I'm going to pass data, the body will be register user request and I'm going to get a callback of register response. So that's all we need in our API service. If you have more endpoints, like in this case, you might need to retrieve all users you are going to use get. I can give you that as a practical example. Just try it. Add a get request for getting users. You can patch a user. You can put a user. So, but in this uh, class, we are going to do login and register. Now, let's create an API client. An API client will allow us to define our retrofit and will uh, also allow us to be able to access these endpoints by calling these functions. So, what I'm going to do is create another endpoint. I create another package and I'm going to call it client and within it I'm going to have API client. So within the API client I'm just going to convert it to an object so that I can be able to access the method inside and the first method will be fun get letter letter fit which is going to return letter of it. So here I'm going to have val letter of it, which will be letter of it dot builder dot add converter factory. Remember we added our JSON converter factory dot create dot add dot base url remember we need to tell it what is our base url and as you can see here our base url 
is this zone. It's either the full domain or the subdomain. So we are going to put that one. And then we are going to build. And here I'm going to return a letter of it. And then we also need to have fun get uh, API service and this one is going to return our API service what we need to do is to return get letter feed dot create API service dot class and then we have our retrofit and we have our API service. The final thing that I'm going to show you is how you can be able to log the data. So remember we added this library called HTTP logger interceptor. This one, which is meant to log the request and response that the server and the device are communicating. So what you need to do is val logger, which will be HTTP logger interceptor dot. And then you'll have logger dot set level, whether you want to log the whole object, the basic that includes only the headers, so for this case, we are going to log the whole body, then log dot dot. Once you set uh, the, the logger, that is either you want the basic or you want the whole body, then we are going to append it to a HTTP client. So what we need to do is have val client which will be ok http client dot dot add interceptor ok so we need to add this interceptor dot builder dot add interceptor and remember our interceptor is this one http logging interceptor so what we need to do is logger dot build and then back to this letter of it we are going to do client we need to add client and the client is OK HTTP client, and then we are going to add this one. So the purpose for this is to allow us to log the request and response. This one gives us letter of it instance, and this one is the one that we are going to, to use so that we can access our endpoints. So now that is done, setting up the API clients. What now we are going to do next is designing our screens.